Okay, this is Lady Nevea, and I'm going into the clubhouse. Uh, I needed to uh, give you an idea. Well, that's the exercising room in there, and I'm not going there right now. And this is the park that's across the street from it. And I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's like. I'm in California and it's supposed to be going up to the 90s today. But uh, I hope they'll let me film in here. I'm not sure. We'll see. But it's nice they can have different events in the uh, park across the street. And I'm in uh, Anatola uh, Development of uh, California Rancho Padova. So, we don't know what it's like. Okay. Get on these doors. I don't know if it'll scan through this. Okay. Oh, but if yours does, mine should. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, we have to have a badge to prove that we belong to the clubhouse. And this is just an area where they, uh, you can have a fireplace or then they have a second floor. You can sit down and enjoy the day or which I'm going to go, and I won't be out there long. Uh, just to give you a feel. Okay. Um, we have children's pool, which is over there, and the adult pool, teenager pool, and then over here we have the lap pool. And this area is dedicated to having events, weddings, what have you. And um, they have a little fireplace there. If you have a nighttime event, it's nice. Uh, I haven't been in here in a while. But uh, they have a fountain. And I've done some videos from that a while ago. This is the lap pool over here. But a lot of seating area and it's not that hot right now today it's going up to 90 in california but uh, right now it's not that it's very peaceful i think it's before 12 and we might be coming out after that but just to give you a feel of what it's like i use the lap pool for doing water exercise, and uh, it's fun. Uh, no feeling of pressure, and you get a lot of exercise out of doing the laps. And they have uh, seating here. I'll come back later with proper clothing on, because right now I'm not dressed for the pool area. I just came back from uh, Bible study, but I just wanted you to kind of feel what I'm enjoying and being blessed with. The weather is quite nice right now. Uh, I'm in Northern California, and uh, this is like a little gazebo that you can sit down reading or just entertaining a uh, small group of people. And they do have a, um, uh, what do they call it? A snack bar. But uh, it's more than enough umbrellas and you're able to just enjoy yourself. And uh, sometimes we rush, 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 and uh, get to enjoy 
some of the amenities of living in the development that you live in. So, but the snack bar is usually over here. I don't know now if they're getting ready to small, getting ready to open it or if it even exists. Those doors with the um, shades on them are all part of the exercise room, gym, and uh, they keep the shades down so they have some privacy inside there. But uh, let me see if I can walk down here so you can get a better feel of the uh, kiddie pool. And I think it's if it's three feet, it might be two feet, I don't know. I don't have any young ones, but that's what they enjoy. And it just, you know, makes it nice and secluded and safe for the children. Okay. Alrighty. Um, today, we're talking about birds and animals in Bible study. We were talking about how they, um, they uh, when you see the birds flying formation, and the V, there's a reasoning behind the V, and God has thought of everything, but the reasoning behind the V formation is that, uh, oh, there's a hot tub. Up to it. They have a jacuzzi. I have several jacuzzis. I just see this one. But the reasoning behind the uh, V formation is that it's easier for the birds to fly that way because of the wind. It lifts them up so that uh, they use less strength having to keep in that formation and yet get to their destination. And the other thing that we discussed and it was mainly based on how we need each other and it's not about being alone and how important it is to be in fellowship with each other uh, other Christians or other believers and how that can help you be able to deal with today's problems today's challenges and the other bird that they talked about was the penguins. They were saying that um, penguins in uh, Alaska stay together. It could be a, a circle of almost a thousand penguins. And the reason they do that is because it's extremely cold and the winds, for an example, it may be 40 below zero and the winds could be a hundred miles per hour. But when these penguins, are together in the center of that circle, it's 70 degrees. And they know this uh, from existing as penguins, and I never knew that. So numbers, people uh, being able to um, collect and the strength in numbers, strength in unity, all of that was, uh, something that was brought out and examples of mother nature doing that maybe someone who's listening to this already knows that as a fact but uh i was amazed i didn't know why penguins would stay together in a circle but it was to create warmth and um they were able to uh exist in all those extreme weathers uh, that they had. So, I get ready to sit down, enjoy some of the shade, and then I'm going to go home and uh, be able to uh, enjoy um, the uh, nice weather right now before it gets extremely hot. <laughs> I'm not a bird that will fly in the <laughs> formation, but I'm enjoying this cool breeze and there's a fan here if it's not old enough. Uh, let me see if I can turn my camera around so you can see me. Um, I have, uh, let's see, 
different color hair. I don't know if I can turn it around. I gotta learn how to do this thing. Hold on. But, hello. <laughs> it's me. And um, I'm here enjoying all of the uh, amenities that uh, my development offers. And I just wanted you to be able to see what's possible. God has truly been a blessing for me. And um, I got my gray, gray hair now. <laughs> so, uh, I hope that you will make a comment and also follow me so that you may have other videos that I will be sharing with you at other times. Take care. And um, I hope that this blessed someone. Yes, I am a queen. Bye now.